Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, so as Mark Tyne was just saying, um, uh, I am Alyssa Wright. Um, I'm part of the OpenStreetMap US um, community um, and have been on the board for the past two years. Um, this is Mark Tyne. Hi, I'm Martin. I have been uh, in the United States for five years. Thanks for having us. Oh, and please feel free to reach Ian. out to me at that's, Ian Deeds on Ian. Twitter or Ian at Open. <laughs> so Ian is going to be talking to us later. Um, and I, I was, um, I've been on the OpenStreetMap US chapter uh, board for a few years um, together with Alyssa. And um, all of the board, as, as the entire board, we submitted a talk, which was in, initially, I think, rejected. And then, yes, and then, and then we got accepted after all. So that's why it's a little chaotic, perhaps. <laughs> and, uh, but now we're all set, and we can start. We're, we're going to be um, each talking for a few minutes about various aspects of what's happening in the United States. Not so much with the map itself, but more with the people um, that make the map. Um, and what we do as a board to kind of help help people do what they like to do. And Alyssa is going to start. Yep. There you go. Hi, everyone. Uh, I have no idea what you said. That's one of our secret sauce right there. Um, no, so uh, this is called The Real McCoy, um, a.k.a. The Confessional, um, just a little piece. Uh, I, I help to name this. Uh, I don't really know what it's like, what the real McCoy means, but um, from Urban Dictionary, it's kind of like uh, the real deal. Um, there's, we were kind of inspired by, um, and, and somebody else said this in a talk that we just listened to, you know, there, there can often be in like the dynamics of, not often, but there are, um, I'm sure everybody's experienced the dynamics of the community are sometimes very positive and collaborative and other times can be quite toxic. And so um, we think that there are lessons um, in both how the U.S. community um, operates and how we're part of the leadership that can um, potentially, you know, be lessons um, as, as we grow as a larger international community and as um, other local, you know, national, regional communities um, continue to evolve. So... Um, the real star of all of this um, is the OpenStreetMap US community. I mean, it's been a real um, pleasure to be part of it um, and to serve it. And, um, you know, all of this is kind of like our own sort of perspective on the work. Um, but um, one of the, I think, the fundamental um, things that we all um, believe in and we all, all, all follow is that, you know, again, this is in service to uh, what we would say the real star, um, which is the community. Um, that's me. I'm going to use a dog theme in my five minutes, which might be extensive. Um, so, um, like this outfit. Um, we're going to be talking about the board um, and our and and the kind of fun stuff that we do there and how we do it. Um, I'm going to explain this uh, dog reference. So uh, this is probably a digital globe image. I don't know, um, but I found it on the internet and. Uh, um, when I was in school, which was in uh, New York City and coming from New York, um, I used to go to a dog park on a regular basis. It was a little weird as like a lunch hour break. Um, but I actually learned a lot um, hanging out in the dog park and watching um, dogs um, while eating my lunch. And so uh, when reflecting on this talk and what um, I've learned from the community and helping to... Um, uh, to helping to lead it and support it. Um, I think that there are a lot of lessons from dogs um, that uh, are applicable. So, uh, yeah. So, um, one of the things that's been really um, helpful and relevant, again, in like leadership, which is a sort of a, what I see as a service role, a support role, um, is for all of us to be rather curious. So nobody comes to leadership position, and I think um, in like conversations um, within the OpenStreetMap community, thinking that, or, or, or with um, the arrogance, like kind of an arrogant sort of thing, like nobody is like particularly right. So this sort of humility um, has kind of really been key, I think, for the success of the community. Um, and then this is uh, really 
um, important for uh, the work that I'm interested in is that there's a certain amount of playfulness. Um, so there's no sense um, in the decisions that we make at the board level that, um, uh, again, that we're like specifically right and anybody's wrong, or um, that this is going to be um, the only like crossroad that we'll that we'll see. But like rather to, to try things out. I think um, we've really adopted like more of an agile. Um, structured, you know, sort of uh, development. So that's allowed us to try out um, a number of things um, that um, in, in a more playful manner. So some of the things that um, are coming from um, the OpenStreetMap community that we've helped to support um, and we've helped to evolve um, are listed here. Um, they're everything from like, you know, real legal status um, and uh, taxes and money that's, you know, involved with that to, um, you know, more innovative um, uh, projects around education um, and, you know, uh, the OSM census is like a demographics uh, kind of, um, uh, review to something that's like, um, you know, the map time, if you guys are familiar with that, I think it's been a really interesting and international kind of um, uh, movement. So um, we're able to do part of that because um, each of us has a job. There are five people on the board. You'll hear from all of them. Um, I'm currently the president. Martin has been the president in the past. Actually, he's been every position. Uh, yeah, I think he's currently at large, um, so watch out. And, um, and with that, like, with that um, kind of position, um, is both like a, a stated position, like Ian is treasurer, he'll speak to, to that work, um, but, uh, and it's clear that that's his responsibility, but also like we kind of adopt, uh, I think, or, or speak for different um, communities and personalities on the board um, as well, and, and we rely on each other to, to represent that. Um, and again, we do that uh, in, in service. So I think, uh, again, none of us um, sees, I mean, def definitely um, it is, it is an, like an honor. Um, I, I, I use that word meaningfully and, hope, and not lightly, but I, you know, I recognize it might be in the Hallmark card. But, um, but it really is like an honor to be able to serve. Um, and I think we all sort of approach um, our role um, uh, in, in, with, with that in mind. So um, some of the successes of the OpenStreetMap US community, and again, what the board has helped to like um, facilitate is um, we we do do a number of different events, um, but we do have like the largest OpenStreetMap conference in the world. I think we have um, the largest endowment um, in the world. We have. Um, a range of different types of affiliations um, from like individual contributors to, you know, a, a national government. Um, we are one of the most active um, Twitter, Facebook, um, Slack, IRC, Mumble, I don't know, um, and blog. So we have a really active communication channels. Um, we are kind to each other, um, and I'll go back to this, but I mean, we follow, we, we have and we follow a code of conduct. Um, you're seeing a lot of innovation, again, coming from individual um, contributors as well as the companies. I'm sorry, and uh, we pay taxes. So anyway, part of the way we do that is that we disagree actively. Um, and we all kind of like take on like uh, different sort of initiatives um, and support each other in that. So those things again, and sort of the lead person there. Um, and then we uh, keep it clean, um, and we, we really like I think follow um, a shared mission, but also um, a shared way of doing it, which is like respectfully um, with the code of conduct. And so. Uh, the results, I mean, you saw the conference, the money, um, the innovation, you know, et cetera. But I, well, I think that um, one of our clear successes is that I've never been on a remote team, especially a volunteer team that's like 100% completely functional. Um, and that is a huge success, um, both of the, of the community and the board. Um, and then uh, this makes me um, extremely hopeful for um, the future of OpenStreetMap. Um, I think that um, you know, not only do we have sort of like um, kind of real strategy um, 
like ingredient, I, I feel like we have ingredients um, to um, help to continue to move like OpenStreetMap forward. And then uh, pass over to Martin, actually, or in the other three board members. I was just gonna start the video, right? So this is our first guest speaker of today, which is, does this display? Oh, I need to, I need to drag it, right, to someplace else. Oh yeah, there we go. There he is. Meet Ian. He's our treasurer currently. Um, I'm gonna rewind it to the, and I'm gonna play it. Right. Ooh. Where did he go? Uh, moving thing, on to the second guest speaker then. <laughs> no, the whole thing froze up now. Do this. <laughs> Move fast and break things. Is it working? Yeah. Well, I was just going to expand on some of Alyssa's thoughts. Um, really, um, so when I, used, when I moved to the US, this was in 2011, um, I was in the Netherlands before that, where I grew up. Um, and I helped uh, start the OpenStreetMap community there in uh, 2006, 2007. And um, at the time I moved, uh, OpenStreetMap was, what had already become pretty, um, um, pretty mature in the Netherlands. There were quite a few people. The map was already fairly complete um, in terms of like most, most things. And um, when I moved to the US, there was really a sort of an eye opener to me where, where we started with a community that was still open to a lot of new things. Um, and it kind of reminded me about this, uh, of those early days in OSM um, where like everything was still kind of to be determined. And um, I think we tried, we, we've managed to kind of maintain that a little bit um, while still working to build a community that's built on um, that's built on the kind of structure and I think Ian has had a few pretty good examples of how we do how we do that as a board um, should we start that video okay I say sorry I couldn't be there to experience state of the map in person but I look forward to watching the videos and hearing from you all on the internet I've been a part of the OpenStreetMap US organization in some way since it was started back in 2010. In the years since, we've tried lots of different things and had dozens of people participate directly in board activities. Each of those people added something to the organization, but we need to make sure that we keep track of what worked and what didn't. To that end, I want to talk about how OpenStreetMap US sustains itself through documentation. The OpenStreetMap US board tries to meet weekly and one of us will take detailed notes about what we talked about. Usually Drishti does the note taking and she does a great job. Those detailed meeting notes go into a folder on GitHub and become searchable by the rest of the board. They're helpful when we're trying to understand the context around decisions or discussions that happened in the past. They also form the basis for the minutes that we publish on the OpenStreetMap wiki after every meeting. Sometimes we'll go the other direction and use GitHub tickets to have more in-depth asynchronous discussion about a decision we need to make before we meet face-to-face. -face. As a treasurer, I spend a lot of time outside our regular meetings maintaining accounting books and making sure we pay our bills on time. This can be very time consuming, especially around state of the map US. So paying for knowledgeable people to help you with that is very useful. Look for accountants, lawyers, bookkeepers, assistants, and event coordinators to help you stay sane while running the organization. Remember, as a member of the OpenStreetMap US board, my first job is to promote OpenStreetMap in the United States, not get burned out on the nitty gritty of accounting. Another aspect of sustainability is making sure your successors and fellow board members can continue to run the organization without relying on you for help. Be sure to securely share passwords and be liberal with access to important information about the organization. 
More than one person should be able to access the bank, social media, email, and server accounts for the organization in case the one person that has access can't be reached. In software engineering, we call this the bus factor. It refers to how many people could disappear, or more morbidly, get hit by a bus before the organization would come to a standstill because knowledge or day-to-day -day activities and access would disappear with those people. If you find yourself answering the problem. To solve this, document the answers to people's questions and point them to your documentation. If your documentation doesn't answer their question, then their documentation isn't good enough. This means you have to spend a seemingly absurd amount of time rewriting everything down, but it also means your organization will survive if you disappear or can't answer because you've escaped to the deep woods of Canada after a reality TV star has become president of your country. In summary, document everything for posterity. Keep note of what worked and what didn't when running your events or meetings or meetups. Use this information when you make decisions in the future. Also, use the documentation to help your organization run more efficiently and to keep yourself sane. Be as open as you can with your board members so that you're not the only person with the keys to everything. Thanks for having us, and please feel free to reach out to me at ENDs on Twitter or ian at openstreetmap.us. Thank you. <laughs> that was Ian. How, I don't know how we are on time, but um, it's. Um, let me. What is it? Yeah, we can take. A, we can take a little bit. We get a lot of requests from people on the local level, right? So where people just want to organize something, uh, people want to have uh, want to have um, a little bit of money to attend a conference and speak about OSM. Um, we get these requests quite a lot, and um, so we're, we're currently working on a, a number of pretty simple policies for uh, for having um, for ha for giving people a little small amounts of money to do these things. And uh, it, this has really worked very well in the, few, in the few times we've already done it. So that's something I definitely um, would uh, encourage other people to try as well. It's some of, so, so one of the things that has been, that has been uh, successful for us. Um, so one of these, um, and these are, these, are, these are some of the real benefits that we give to, to members. And that's maybe why we have so many of them. We have almost 500 members of the US chapter, which is about on par with the OSM Foundation. Um, about 150, 160 of them are also members of the foundation. Uh, so we have a lot of dual membership, which is something I think is also important because when, we are, when we're going to support local chapters, we're also going to be, um, uh, want, want, that, want that, uh, that knowledge of their experience from all those local chapters, who are all different, um, to trickle up to kind of the, the OpenStreetMap uh, central kind of um, organization or the project as a whole. Um, so we can all learn from each other. And that's also, I think, tomorrow there's going to be, uh, as part of the workshop day, we'll, we'll have a local chapters um, meeting um, where I hope some of this learning can start to happen, or not start to happen because it's already happening, but where we can have the opportunity to all be together and talk about these things. Um, finally, I, th I don't think we have time for another video, but um, like, um, it's about six minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that what we'll do is we'll um, post this on our blog um, so you can see the original um, uh, material. But to, like, to summarize, um, Trishti, um, who is uh, uh, secretary um, on the board, um, she is the newest member to OpenStreetMap US um, and, the, um, and the board, um, and she is one of the kind of leaders between missing maps. And so she talks about, um, you know, one of the things that we um, kind of balance both within the community but also represented in the board is a certain amount of diversity. Um, 
Three of the five board members were originally from uh, different countries. Um, there's uh, two women on the board, myself included. Um, we have um, a pretty diverse like, you know, community of mappers and as represented by at the conference. And so she talks about like, what the um, kind of perspective of being like, a new um, contributor um, to the, the community and to the, the board, um, what that looks like. And, um, and we as other board members, um, we have made sure that uh, her perspective and her voice is just as valued as anybody else um, who, who's on the board. Um, and then Alex talks about like communication styles, um, the kind of growth of the OpenStreetMap community, um, and the state of the map conference, and how um, our kind of investment in time, um, and how we structure um, its success. State of Map US, I hope I said that. Um, we can take questions, because that's just as useful. Otherwise, we can uh, continue to ramble. Thank you for the contribution. Are there any questions from the audience? Yeah, question over here. So you touched on this a little bit, but the US is a huge country, very diverse. How is that? Um, what, what kind of difficulties does that pose for OpenStreetMaps USA? And then how, do, how is the diversity a, a, maybe a force for uh, success? Well, one, one dimension of it is certainly geographical. So everything is, um, well, as an as a ex-European, um, it struck me that like, when, if, if I wanted to travel to an OSM event, uh, I pretty much have to organize one myself because everything is always like the, the closest other city to my to 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 where I live is is 600 kilometers away. Um, so and there's nothing in between. So um, if if there if there if anything is going to happen in terms of events for me, then I'll have to organize something. So that's why I feel so strongly about supporting people who want to organize things. I mean, I live in the desert. Not all people are so far apart, but it's definitely not uncommon for people to fo be far apart. Now, our previous speaker is also, he's probably pretty close to me, and, um, but he's also in the same situation. He lives in the desert as well. Um, so this is a challenge. Um, that, that's the geographical part of it. Maybe, Alyssa, you want to address the, div the diversity challenge uh, that we have. Sure. I mean, I think, um, I think fundamentally, um, all of us see it as a, as a strength and a contribution and something that um, we hope to support that all these diverse um, communities have a voice um, in the, the structure and, and, the, and the growth and the leadership of the community. But it's clear that it's also a challenge, like, and geographic um, diversity is a, is a big one. I think that what we're interested in doing, and, and Martin can talk more about um, what we hope is next for the OpenStreetMap US um, uh, uh, leadership and community, and um, I think that uh, you know we do help to support one conference a year, like the large State of the Map U.S. conference. But there's um, increasing effort to um, really make, um, like, have have a learning at a more local level to support support um, what is happening um, at the at these these smaller, like you know, easily more ex easily accessible um, uh, communities as well. Any more questions? I will say also, though, the diversity of actors, though, is really important. So it's not just like types of people, but I mean, I think it's been really valuable for the US community to have large companies, um, which may not be, you know, historically the way um, OpenStreetMap US, I um, mean, uh, OpenStreetMap as an uh, organization. Uh, sees itself or considers itself, but it's, it's been valuable to have them as voices, as well as governments, as well as um, uh, original volunteers. Like, that um, diversity of uh, perspective is something else that we um, attempt to um, balance at the board level, but, uh, but I, I think, again, we find it like fundamentally a contribution. Um, and something that, even if it's hard, um, that's something that we continue to work towards because um, we, we want lots of different types of people and perspectives like involved in the work and using the work too.
Uh, it'd be really cool um, if uh, one of the women want to ask a question. Um, I haven't seen them, so just, just think about it. Um, thank you for the talk, very interesting. You mentioned under the successes um, the idea of affiliations. I was wondering if you could maybe elaborate tinyly on that. Affiliation, yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a few things that are, have been successful. So, so uh, quite a few of the board members have been um, talking at, like speaking at, at very, at, um, for example, um, government conferences where, where a lot of government GIS folks show up and some interesting collaborations have been, have been made out of that. A recent example is where I spoke at a, at a conference that, uh, that had um, transportation GIS people from all over the US. And um, we set up an interesting um, map roulette challenge related to, uh, to, um, to um, uh, infrastructure in Texas uh, that is still evolving. We started with something really simple. But those are some interesting collaborations where people are really starting to get interested in using OSM as well from the government uh, level. Not only uh, giving data, because in the US um, data is very liberally uh, distributed from the government side, but also starting to um, get interested into some of these crowdsourcing which is very, a very strange word to them and a very strange concept, and, but getting used to that and getting used to the OpenStreetMap way of doing things. So that's, yeah, that's one example. There's more. Okay. Unfortunately, our time is up. So uh, I would like to thank you for your contribution. Let's thank our speakers again.